Who's sending us? Who's sending us? Hey everybody, welcome to Saving Green's Homestead. My name is Keisha, and if this is your first time watching one of my videos, I welcome you. Today I am going to show you some of the things that I grew on purpose in my garden to feed my chickens. Uh, usually I grow and sprout fodder for my chickens, but during the summer months it's so hot that things get moldy. So this year I decided I was going to grow them their own grains and uh, feed that to them to help supplement the cost of the feed that I buy at the store. So I have other videos where I show you uh, how I grow the fodder. Um, there's a playlist that I have that says chickens on it and you can click on that and there's a, a few videos on there on how I grow fodder, different setups that I use. But today I'm just gonna take you around and show you what I grew to give my chickens as food this season. You see that bird sitting right there? All these little birds are out here attacking my fig tree. And then after they, I'm gonna show you the damage. I'm gonna see if he's gonna fly away. Well, he's not trying to fly away. Hmm. But look at the damage they've done to these fruits on here. They found all of my fruit on here that's ripe. And they just went to town on it. And so I've had to chase them away so I can get the other ripe fruit that they didn't get yet that they were trying to get. And then they had the nerve to try and get my apple, my last apple over here. So I had to cover it up because them getting my peaches in the background, back over here, and then getting my figs wasn't enough. They had to move on to trying to get my apple. And they've been getting the sunflower seeds, which is fine. I don't mind that. But I want some of the fruit, at least, <laughs> off of my trees. So I had to cover that up. And then I didn't get on video. They're, the birds are flying over here and drinking the water out of my trays here. I've caught them doing that. Drinking the water out of here. So, yeah, it's very interesting. <laughs> they don't go to the fountain, I guess because Sonny, who is lounging over here, you see Sonny right there, uh, he's been up on this fountain because I found fur attached to the spines on this cactus, and then this cactus was pulled out and was on the ground. <laughs> So, he gets up there. So, I think the birds try and stay, steer clear over there so that the kitty don't get them. I wonder how close he's going to let me get because he's not trying to go anywhere. Oh, he just went over there on that post. See him through the leaves there? <laughs> And why is it that the birds can't just single out one fruit and then they all just eat off of that one fruit? Why do they have to go and bite into every single fruit on the dang tree? I don't get that. Look at this. I found a volunteer ground cherry. This is the second year that it, a, a ground cherry has volunteered. 
and it has a lot of fruit on it right now too <laughs> cool so here's a big pile of corn that I harvested and I already took the ears off they were already dried out and I took the ears off so I could give them to the chickens. But I'm gonna show you. I still have more corn over here that I need to harvest the ears. And they will go to feed my chickens. Here's another plant that I grew, not just for its beauty, but because I can feed this to my chickens as well. And so I grew these. This is amaranth. It's a red amaranth. Here's a, a different variety of amaranth. This one is called Love Lies Bleeding. I grew this one to feed to my chickens as well. You guys, look how pretty this, I think it's basil. Let me see. Yes, purple opal basil. Look how pretty that color is on there. Look at that. Here's another variety of basil that I grew. I'm not sure what the this one is called. I'll look it up and put it on the screen, but I wanted to show you. I also grew this sorghum so that I can feed these seeds to my chickens. So some of these sunflower heads are really big and the birds have already eaten the seeds that I'll give. Um, I grew all of these seeds so that I can give it to my chickens. And then also this beautiful millet. I grew this so I could feed these to my chickens as well. As you can see though, the birds already started stripping some of the seeds off of here. But there's others where you can still see some seeds. Look at that one has a worm on it, caterpillar. But you can see here that there's still some seeds on these. So these I grew for my chickens. These are the seeds that I'm drying off from that watermelon that I harvested um, that grew the volunteer that grew next to my driveway. And also here's an up close look at all of the different things that I said that I'm growing for my, to feed my chickens. So this is the amaranth. And I decided not to take all the little seeds out because as you can see, see that the seeds are tiny really tiny so i figure i'll just let the birds sort through that themselves but then i have sunflower seeds from the sunflowers and then corn kernels from the corn that i sh stripped off and then the it's a sorghum seed and then as you can see this is the millet now, it's just much too work for me to try and strip every last um, piece off of every little branch of all the little parts <laughs> and off every ear here. It's just too much to do. For me, it's too much. So what I plan on doing is I give my chickens ears of corn that are dried out and they pick through and pick off what they want. I give, I cut the, I cut the heads of uh, sunflowers 
off for them and I throw those back there to them and they pick out the uh, seeds. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do with this millet. I'm just gonna throw pieces of it back there and they can just pick the seeds off of the stalk themselves. And as far as the amaranth, the seeds are so tiny that I'm not even gonna, I just broke up the pieces of flour. I just broke it up and I'll toss that back there for them too. Um, but I won't toss it like this. I'll toss it on the stem and full heads and they can break it off as they please. I gave them what was on this plate. <laughs> this squash plant is just growing up my oleander and there's another squash forming on there anyways you guys I just wanted to share with you something that I did this season um, as a way to save a little bit of money and it just was interesting for me to try and grow food for my chickens um, so that they can have the healthiest uh, foods possible and not always processed pressed uh, foods that you buy in the stores so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope this video inspired you to maybe try and grow some of the same things for your chickens um, and if you have if you do grow your chickens feed um, let me know down in the comments what you do grow That cat just caught a bird. Oh, he lost it. I'm glad he lost it, but he just launched himself. Oh, my. Let me see what he messed up over here. that bird that I was getting video of earlier that wasn't flying away. I wonder if there's something wrong with that bird. So thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one and as always, God bless.